Hi and welcome back. So in my previous two videos you saw me div around trying to decide what to do with this unit and you saw how dirty and grubby it was as well. Now that it's all cleaned up and looking lovely it's time for the last stage of this project. So if I haven't made it clear before and I don't think I have I'm turning this into a USB keyboard. Why? Because I think it would be cool. Secondly I still haven't diagnosed the issue with the main board yet. Now in order to get this working as a USB keyboard I'm going to need some additional software and circuitry so that I can use it with any PC. Out there on the interwebs there are some tutorials on how to do this but I only saw one video and some information on how to USB up this Amstrad CPC as a keyboard only unit. For me it meant hours of trial and error and code writing which to be honest to myself I cannot be bothered with. I did find a website that produces these circuit boards not just for the Amstrad but also for the likes of the Commodores and Sinclairs plus a few others as well. Even better they were based in the UK as well so I ordered one and it came in the post a few days later. And this is it. I have to say I was very impressed with this unit. It looks professionally made and for the £42 price tag I would say it's well worth buying it and it definitely looks better than anything I would have produced. I'll put a link in the description below just in case you want to order one for yourself. So let's get this hooked up to the CPC. So here it is. This is the USB adapter. As you can see, as I've already mentioned, it looks pretty nice. Pretty simple. It's the interface for the main keyboard. You've got two inputs for it, so you have to be careful with how you put these in. They need to be put in the correct way, otherwise you'll get letters that uh, won't match. Where you'll press the letter L or X or any other letter, and what you'll get on the screen is something completely different. So if you're going to do this, keep that in mind. So this is the cable coming out from the uh, keyboard. Uh, as you can see it fits quite nicely. It looks pretty smart and almost looks like it's meant to be there. So now I've just got Word open on my laptop and the Amstrad keyboard is now hooked up to it. You can see there. And I'm just going to type something. And you should be able to see hello. Enter button works. Let me see all the buttons work. I can even do the at sign. So I can just use it like a normal keyboard. I'm happy that it's working perfectly now. I'll just connect the power light to the circuit board. And here we are.
Well that wraps it up for this video and for this project. Please like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.